final part even. Huh, huh. Yeah, I know it's been a long time, but I think it's been quite educational, at least somewhat. I mean, don't don't hate, okay? Here I'm doing exactly the same thing I did before. Uh, I think it's the same video clip as I had in the part two. I'm not sure, but yeah. So the soul uh, is somewhat done, I guess. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. Again, I'm not spending a lot of time on the soul because why not? And here I'm just adding some, um, just pulling some geometry down, just fit the toe there. Now I'm doing the spike. S spikes. I know I have this odd uh, in fetches with doing the spikes, but I think they are quite, um, it's the last part of this video that will actually help you doing stuff, and I, I figured it'd be quite important, I guess. <laughs> um, so let's just hold on here and uh, see what happens. I am saving now, that is why the entire thing is still. I save in high poly, which is silly and stupid, and you should not do it. But I do, and yeah, I'm an idiot. As I said in my previous tutorial, uh, do use Subtool Master if you want to uh, low res things because it it has that script low res all, which just low reses everything and it's very very useful. So I recommend that extremely much. Uh, oh hey spikes, yay! Um, I'm going to actually divide the spikes to an unhumane uh, level because I want some detail on them. Uh, and I don't have proper geometry on those things. They are very stretched and you need as you may know uh, you kind of need uh, even quads when sculpting properly in ZBrush just to get that good um, polygon distri distribution uh, But uh, I don't have it on these and um, it shows but uh, yeah, so I just divide them a bunch of times uh, They don't need a lot of geometry detail anyway, and as you can see here adding some um, just freehand to a brush with the uh, broken up kind of alpha you you see it down there you know which one it is and just adding some you know weird buckles and uh, you know dents and stuff into these things not buckles what the hell uh, again now I'm going in with a different material this is actually a uh, metal material as you may have guessed and just dragging it onto those and now I'm going in with another metal one dragging it onto those and dragging more of these actually next I'm going to go do a, a kind of rusty old metal look and um uh, going, I have a lot of metal. I I saved up, you know, Google image did, uh, image a lot of metal textures and just uh, put them on, imported them into ZBrush and uh, used them to texture these things. Uh, I want them not to look too much like metal. I wanted them to have that kind of mixed metal and stone look, which I think I kind of succeeded in making. Uh, and you can see it right here. So here I'm going with a darker texture actually and just filling up the base here because um, it's kind of how stone looks. They have kind of darker bases uh, and the tops are a bit brighter uh, as you can see there. I think it looks quite good actually uh, and that's why I do it on all of these parts, uh, all of these spikes I guess. Uh, also going, you know, I'm probably going to add some, um, let's see what's next uh, after saving. What am I going to do? Uh, moving the sub up and here, I, yeah, I'm just checking so that I, I'm, the bases are actually showing through the skin, just to make sure. And here I'm going in and adding some uh, actual, um, let's see, uh, some d lights. That's weird. Uh, I'm going to add some rust in here, here soon. I, I think, yeah, here uh, I'm going in with the free enter and just adding some of those parts, which kind of looks like either rust or kind of um, plants or something. I mean, just mole uh, on those things, which. Um, I think it looks quite good, honestly. <laughs> and I apparently had forgotten about the last two down there, so I have to redo, um, you know, do those as well, which isn't very hard. I mean, I find this entertaining. Doing this and doing it in Zebra and doing it in Photoshop manually is so... They have such a contrast. I mean, this I enjoy thoroughly. Uh, doing it in Photoshop, I mean, I can, I can do it. You get more control out of it, to be fair, but... This is more fun. I don't think anyone can uh, doubt that this is more fun, and uh, I I enjoy it thoroughly. And I'm not going to, uh, you know, blame myself from not doing it in Photoshop. You could always use a Z Apple Link uh, if uh, you know you want to, uh, and yeah, stuff like that. So here I'm saving. Uh, I've said that so many times in this video. You don't need to know them when I'm saving, but just. Take my word for it. When I'm when the mouse is still for a, more than a few seconds, uh, I'm probably saving, and I save a lot. So here I'm just going in again and refining these areas um, with a. With, oh, I, I'm actually going with the, uh, the rusty metal texture and actually going around these um, 
these indents uh, and uh, adding that. I like that look. It kind of looks like it's some sort of on the gangrenous, uh, gangrenous, I guess, flesh. It's a kind of infected flesh around those areas. I thought that it looked really cool, so I, I, I kept it in. Um, it's, it's subtle again. It's a very subtle detail, but I thought it looked really nice. Um, not sure about you, but I mean, to be fair, it is my model, so you can just, you know, sort off. <laughs> I don't really mean that. I love you people for watching my videos. Um, so here I'm actually doing the... Uh, I forgot to record most of the helmet texturing, but uh, take my word for it, it was really a lot like the spikes. I didn't do a lot of texture work on these on the helmet. I just added some scratches which aren't really being shown here. I'm not sure if I have done them at this point or I'm going to do them. Uh, but um, yeah, so... I need some detail just with the helmet of sculpting in some little things just... To differentiate that form, I just wanted some uh, different things. Uh, I'm actually doing something else. I'm not sure what I'm doing. Uh, let's see here. What am I doing? What am I doing? Okay. Uh, don't think there's much to this model. I mean, to the in the end here, I don't have much else to say. We are almost at the end of this uh, long tutorial ser series, but I think there's some slight. Oh right, I'm actually doing some more helmet work. Uh, I was trying this out with another material. As you can see, I have some scratch on there, and all I did for these scratches was, if you want to know, uh, you know, freehand tool, one of those really odd alphas, uh, the, you know, kind of broken up. Uh, it, they kind of look like a small explosion. Uh, that's my best description of them. I don't have the actual name of them because I can't be asked to start off ZBrush at the moment. Uh, but yeah, just used one of those and a small size and just you know painting on it. Here I'm actually doing some. Uh, you may remember the tattoo stuff I tried out. I'm actually doing it on, on the helmet here because it, I found this actually worked quite well. I, I'm going to keep this on. Uh, also, important thing to note: I'm using a tablet to draw this. I have a Wacom Intuos for medium size, um, which I find perfect for me. Uh, if you're going to be at least somewhat serious while sculpting, uh, get a tablet, uh, even, I mean, sculpting, painting, doing anything on the computer, get a tablet, seriously. It helps immensely. Um, basically, there are people who are amazing and can do this stuff with a mouse, and I envy them so much, but I can't. I, I, the tablet is my thing, and tablet should be your thing as well, you should at least try it out. It, for some people, it's quite a hard, um, learning curve. For me, it, was quite kind of natural, honestly. It wasn't that hard, but uh, some people have some issues with it, and I mean that's not my fault, obviously. But um, if you are, as I said, if you want to do good things, try a tablet out, please. It's such a good tool to have. Uh, I think the bamboo line is quite cheap if you want a budget one. Uh, and I think the last part of this tutorial is just going to be me trying to get this done. Uh, but yeah, this uh, tutorial is actually coming to a close here. This is basically what I've uh, what I've done. And uh, I really do uh, thank you for watching this long, long series of videos. And um, yeah, I'll see you in my next one. And again, thanks. Hope you learned something.